When I first saw significant figures, I thought, there's something wrong with this. This can't actually be right. Because I imagined, okay, suppose you have 97 degrees, 98 degrees, 99 degrees, you're comparing them. They all have two significant figures. That's great. But if you've got 99 degrees, 100 degrees, 101 degrees, you've got two significant figures, then one, then three. You're trying to tell me that my precision just went haywire there? All I did was warm up a few degrees. Now, some people would nitpick and say, oh, well, you should put a decimal point there so that this is actually three significant figures. Yeah, that still doesn't deal with the shelf going from 99 to 100 degrees, right? It's like 2, 2, 2, and then suddenly it's 2, 3, 3. Warming things up a few degrees should not have made that much difference. Well, it turned out my instincts were right. Significant figures are only an approximation. They're a rule of thumb. They're a simplification. They're not meant to be perfect. They're just meant to give you the right number of digits most of the time. And your teacher understands that, right? They're just trying to get you to be able to, to learn some basic science without having to take multiple courses in statistics. This is how you would begin to describe the errors you get when you add up two numbers with errors. This is just for addition. There's a lot more work to be done for multiplication, division, and so forth. We'd rather not give you all of that mess. We'd prefer that you not have to take like multiple statistics courses in order to start learning basic science. So that's why we have significant figures, to avoid that.